Hello, my name is Yuji Hattori. In April 2009, I came back to the Institute of Physics Science of Tohoku University as a professor of the Advanced Computational Fluid Dynamics Laboratory. So, this is still a young laboratory. In our laboratory, we are doing fundamental research in fluid dynamics. Fundamental research is important because the results are universal and have a wide range of applications from phenomena in nature to engineering. Our research is categorized into three areas, vortex dynamics, turbulence, and computational fluid dynamics. It is important to understand the dynamics of vortices. This is because in incompressible flows, vortices determine the flow field completely with boundary conditions, and when the flow is inviscid, vortex lines move with the flow field. However, the governing equations in fluid dynamics are usually nonlinear, so the dynamics is difficult to analyze and generates a wide variety of interesting phenomena. For nearly 10 years, I am studying the stability of vortices with Professor Yasuhide Fukumoto in Kyushu University. We have found a new instability which is called curvature instability. This instability is first found analytically for a vortex ring, which is formed by ejecting a fluid from a circular nozzle, for example. This instability is due to the curvature of vortex tubes, so any vortex which is curved is subject to this instability. We have shown the curvature instability exists for helical vortices and hills vortex. The second area is turbulence. Most of the flows we encounter are turbulent. In order to simulate turbulent flows, we need accurate turbulence models because the power of supercomputer is not sufficient to resolve the fine-scale structures of turbulence. However, the properties of turbulence are a long-standing problem in classical physics and are not well understood yet. We are studying the statistical properties of both incompressible and compressible turbulence by direct numerical simulation using the supercomputer system of our institute. Three-dimensional visualization in the realization workspace of our institute is a promising tool for exploring new aspects of turbulence which is shown in a separate movie. The third area is computational fluid dynamics, CFD. Thanks to the rapid growth of computer power, CFD now has a number of applications. We are developing new methods for CFD, mostly aiming at highly accurate simulation. One of the current projects is developing highly accurate method for simulating flows in complex geometries and flows which include moving or deforming bodies. And this is introduced by assistant professor Wakana Nakano. We are also doing large scale numerical simulation using the supercomputer system of our institute. Before coming back to the Institute of Fluid Science, I was teaching at Kyushu Institute of Technology. There I designed the curriculum for a new department. The main feature of the curriculum is project-based learning. In project-based learning, a project is given to a student or a group of students. They learn how to apply the knowledge in practice and obtain by themselves new knowledge required to achieve the project. This is a very efficient method of education to motivate students by giving attractive projects because things are quite complicated today and students tend to lose interest in too many subjects. It is interesting that one of the policies of Tohoku University is to educate students through research. Like project-based learning, students acquire various abilities which include logical thinking, discussing with collaborators, designing, planning, all needed in solving problems and accomplishing projects. In our laboratory, 
I think through what kind of research project is good for each student to acquire these abilities through research. If you are interested in our laboratory, please contact me.